Hi, VOD watchers. We've been waiting for you. Where were you? Well, you're here now, and we're going to play a little bit more Yellow Taxi Goes Vroom. Welcome back. <laughs> Chat, how, how's everyone doing tonight? I don't think I asked you that during the first segment. How's everyone doing? It is, it is getting warmer out. It is, uh, I feel like spring has really, truly, officially sprung. Anyone here got any uh, plans to enjoy spring? Anyone here doing any? What's like a spring activity? I guess like going to the park. Isn't like having kids a spring activity? Any of you guys having kids? Who's pregnant in chat tonight? You, name that baby after me. Name that baby after me. You get a free uh, sub for uh, one month. Gonna sit in the yard a bit this week. That sounds nice, man. I'm, I might do that this weekend. I might sit out on my porch. Stops raining. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's supposed to rain here like tomorrow and Friday, but then Saturday it's supposed to be fine. Literally just mowed the lawn using only a weed whacker. What the hell? Do you need a lawnmower? That that sounds uh painful, man. Need one? My dad sells lawnmowers. My dad fixes lawnmowers and sells them. What's your what's your lawnmower budget? <laughs> I'm gonna broker a deal real quick. What's your lawnmower budget? You can hook me up for like fifty dollars. Okay, I'll say something to him. I I don't know if he has any one. I don't know if he has any to sell right now. Uh, cause spring is just starting So he hasn't um, What he does is people go People uh, buy a lawnmower for $500 And go yeah, uh, This doesn't work garbage And he goes no, no it'll work watch this And he spends like $50 on parts And he fixes it up and then sells it um, that's, that's my dad's hobby So um, I'll say something to him I don't know if he's got any for sale In the first place or any for 50 bucks, but if he does, I'll let you know. Uh, so I figured out, I was saying that this is a perfect stream game for me. I figured out why, it's because it's just the right amount of um, overstimulation. And my brain like that. It's the perfect amount of zoomer stimulation for my brain, so. Uh, I made a Cambridge English exam yesterday. Uh, it'll give me an English level based on how well I did, and it's possible I'll officially speak English as well as a native speaker. No shit, that's dope. That's very cool, dude. Do you, uh, are you gonna like, well, I guess that would like look good on like a resume, right? I was gonna say, are you gonna like, Start using that against uh, us uh, American public school <laughs> users. You're going to be like, guys, I know English better than you. Okay, that's not how you pronounce that. <laughs> Loaded up the Elden Ring DLC to get to where the DLC will start and was like, hey, this game is pretty good. No, no, wrong. My lawn is like 600 square feet in total. I just need to use... Uh, need to use Toro? Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, you don't need, you don't need, you know, a Big John with a, you know, bagger and all that. Oh, like I said, I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him this weekend, and if he has anything, one, if he has anything, but if he has anything in a, in a, uh, decent price, in a, in a budget Terry price, I'll let you know. Gulp. Sorry, I was finishing my glass of water. What were you saying? Kill him. 
giving advantage on jobs that use any English at all, so it's basically all up. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's dope, dude. That's very cool. I wish, um, I wish I could retain more than one language. I can't even retain one language. Um, I've talked about this, but I'm, I'm trying to do more reading because I'm trying to do this thing called bettering myself. And, um, man, I used to think I knew all the goddamn words. And I think just my vocabulary's gotten worse. I'm going to blame it on streaming, truthfully. But, um, I, I have run into a lot of words I've never never heard before or at least never heard in that context and so it's been very humbling to uh need to google some words freaking stupid i mean i also i have access to audiobooks like i, I think I do have a library card. I do have access to to uh, audiobooks now. So I, I kind of don't have any excuse not to like read the 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 stories that I want to be reading. But I started reading Funny Boy last night. I talked about that. Was that yesterday? Was that yesterday or Monday? I talked about Funny Boy. Um I started that last night. I got like two chapters in. It's really good. Very, very good. It's a biography about Richard Hunt, who is one of the original Muppet performers. Um, and I've, I've really, like I said, two chapters in. So, you know, maybe, maybe it becomes terrible later, but so far I've been enjoying it. You guys reading anything good lately? And don't say stop signs and shit like that. That's a mega 64 joke. How do I get over here? I'm going to I'm going to dick around on Granny's Island for a little bit and then we'll actually go do some levels. Cause there's stuff that I still don't understand how I'm supposed to get. Please. Got it. Thank you. Lost it. Thank you. Okay. Oh, please. Oh. Have any of you guys picked this game up and been playing it yourself? Maybe you understand uh, the physics and momentum better than I do. I thought I knew. I thought I was so smart. And there's just a ton of stuff that I'm like, I don't know how to do this actually. Let me get this in Children of the Sun. What is Children of the Sun? Um, everyone's been talking about it because it uh, has, like, I guess, super underperformed. And it's been this discussion about how, like, it's not just the AAA game market that is uh, struggling right now. But I don't, I don't, I, I honestly, I believe that because it's a Devolver game. And I, the, literally people talking about how it didn't sell very well is the first I've heard about it. Oh, you asshole, please asshole, please asshole, please. Thank you. Ugh. get up there just get up just get up please thank you killer seven plus sniper elite plus super hot huh 
Okay. It sounds like a lot of things that I might like. There, uh, Super Hot 3 is coming out, right? Didn't that get announced just, uh, like a week ago or something? The new, uh, Super Hot? Slay the Spire 2 was announced. Yeah, I saw people excited about that, but I, I don't know anything about Slay the Spire, so. How did I do that that one time? <laughs> How did I almost pull this off? Maybe I leave it. <laughs> Maybe I leave it. Or not. Okay. I don't know. Oh. Oh. How did I do that? <laughs> oh, okay. What did uh what did I do differently there? I canceled early. To get the height boost early and then dashed high. So that's that's the that's the ticket. That's the ticket. Okay. Cancel early. I love this game. Okay, all right. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it. Don't worry. We'll get it. Prince of Persia roguelike by the Dead Cells team. Okay. Uh, also, didn't they announce? Um, well, they didn't announce it was leaked, right? That Dead Space there there will not be a Dead Space Two remake, which is you know pretty cool. Not like that was the one thing that I, you know, thought was a surefire in and would be great. No, that's dead. I guess, I guess the Dead Space remake didn't sell well, which is news to me because I feel like everyone I knew played that. But, you know, it's, uh, you're, you and I are in the games journalist bubble right the the games media bubble okay so yeah we're we're all uh you know you're watching a twitch streamer who watches twitch streamers so we all think that the game if it's being played by twitch streamers it's successful and good well successful right but that's not, uh, turns out the internet is not reality. Turns out what's happening on, I fucked that up. What's happening on twitch.com or twitter.com isn't always exactly what's happening IRL. EA says it wasn't being worked on. Grub says that ain't what he heard. I trust Jeff Grubb more than I trust EA. <laughs> Not that I trust Jeff Grubb like implicitly on everything. Not that I distrust him, but you know, he is just a guy hearing news from other people. But uh, I do trust him infinitely more than I trust EA. <laughs> Huh. 
Come on. Come on. Someone in the Steam review said this game was uh, easy. This game was too easy. Uh, which was very funny to me because I did review this on Steam where I said it was challenging. Because I think it is. <laughs> I guess I'm just not the uh, the platformer player that I thought I was. <laughs> I'm I'm simply washed. I'm simply a noob, I guess. Uh oh, come on. I saw Gersman play some of this earlier. Uh oh, what did he think? Uh oh. Good things? Did he say good things? God damn you! Get on there! <laughs> Did he like it? Got it. I need to be validated. I need... Even though Jeff and I rarely agree on stuff, or on games, on specific games, I need to be validated. Did he like it? I... You know, it doesn't matter. It'll take us back to the checkpoint. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. See ya. Frustrated with some of the control stuff. Well, he he says that Donkey Kong Country controls badly. So, uh, the opinion evaporated. <sighs> I disregard all opinions that don't perfectly line with mine. Yes, if he knows what he's talking about. Uh, mods, get him out of here. Uh, mods, hold him down and, um, uh, hose off. All of his gamer sweat. Thank you. Hose him down until he doesn't smell anymore. Thank you. Have I been to this area? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you can just wall ride with that if you do that right. You think this is what it's like to be a, a taxi driver? The only time I've ever seen a yellow taxi was in New York City and it was driving on the sidewalk and honking at the pedestrians. So my whole like skewed small town view of, of taxis was kind of like completely justified in that one moment. <laughs> My whole view that they're like crazy taxi uh, came true in one moment. Why did I do it this way? That was bad. Actually, what am I trying to do here? Well. When I, have I told this uh, have I talked about this before? Maybe I have. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with New York City. When I was a kid, all I wanted was to live in New York City. I thought that that was the, the best place in the world. And I would love every second of being there. And um, now the thought of traffic gives me anxiety. Just the thought. So... 
<laughs> I don't think I'll be going. I don't think I'll be living in New York City anytime soon. But as a kid, I was like, okay, one, they got pizza. Two, they got the Ninja Turtles. Three, they got Spider Man. Um, yeah, this place is epic. I also think that, like, post 9 11, <laughs> let's take a pivot here. Post 9 11, America was very pro New York City, right? America was very much like, let's show our support for New York City. So maybe my shit was skewed. I don't know. This kid, I wanted to live in Detroit because of Insane Clown Posse. Were you, were you a juggalo? Were you a, a mini juggalo? Did you want to join ICP? Yeah, really? That's dope. I was like that too, but with uh, ZZ Top. So I get it. More than anything, I wanted to be a part of ZZ Top, which um, probably was because it was my dad's favorite band and I just wanted, you know, attention from my father. But, um, you know, let's all unpack that on a different stream, I think. Or she got poop out her ass. I don't know where the other gears are. I guess I guess we'll try to go up here again. Um and see anything different, but if I don't see anything different, I'm just going to move on to an actual level, I think. What what did you want to be when you were a kid? When you were a kid, what did you want to grow up to be? Let's all depress ourselves real quick. What was the goal when you were a kid? When I was real young, I wanted to be a comic book writer. When I was like, just getting into middle school, I wanted to be a comedian. And then in high school, I wanted to be a filmmaker. And now I just want to be able to make ends meet. Dumbass. Scientist and the music producer. What kind of. Did you know, like, what kind of scientist you wanted to be? You wanted to be, like, a chemist or a physicist? Or was it just in general science? Didn't care, just science. Were you big, uh, you, you big Bill Nye guy? You were Bill, were you a big uh, Bill head, or were you a big uh, Beekman's World head? I'm conducting an experiment. Bill, okay. Noted. I found that um, everyone I know who was into Bill Nye turned out to be an okay person. Everyone I know who was into Beekman's world uh, turned out to be a monster. It's like part of the Turing test or whatever. Do you like Bill Nye or Beekman more?
Yeah, I still don't know how to get that one. Or maybe we do an actual level now. It's like a glass half full, half empty scenario. Uh, but it's uh, which uh, children's science show did you watch more? Now, what I've really found is when people say Mythbusters, they're actual, they became actual scientists. And if they say Mr. Wizard's World, um, they're geriatric, so. I like Mythbusters? I did too. I was, I was a big Mythbusters kid. But it was less so of like, oh dude, like they're testing this with a scientific method. More so it was, I wanna see them smash that fucking dummy. I wanna see them throw that dummy. I wanna see what happens when they do. All right, let's do a level. Let's let's stop uh, piss pantsing around. Carrie, you're talking about Carrie? Yeah, Carrie was. Uh, Carrie was definitely a reason I was watching. When I was when I was a. a, a, a Never mind. When I was a feller, I was definitely, she was definitely part of the reason I was watching. I actually, uh, what was I watching? I think I was watching uh, one of the like tape rip channels on Twitch that I follow. And uh, they were showing a Mythbusters episode, and I immediately again. This is something I talked about. Um, so I clicked on it. It was a Mythbusters episode. I went, you know, she's still cute. And then I'm sitting there. I went, she's pregnant. I can tell she's pregnant. And then later on in the episode, they had to be like, uh, <laughs> you know, this was filmed later than the earlier part. And during, uh, you know, uh, Carrie's got a little bit of a baby bump. <laughs> and I was like, I, what is, why do I have this ability? What's wrong with me? Why can I tell when women are pregnant? <laughs> why? <laughs> kill me, kill me, kill me. <laughs> why is this something I can do? <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> this isn't a skill that'll help me in life. <laughs> One of the girls we had to fight. I thought that said set on fire. Okay. One of the girls we had to fire at the mall. Oh, okay. Was she pregnant? Works in the mall at a different store and I stopped by and see her and could tell she was pregnant. Okay. I just hate it, man. <laughs> I hate having the, it, this, cause it's just like fucked up. It's just like, how does this help you? And why, why do you know this? Why do you know this? Any entity below 1.6 meters will always remind you how small it is. Okay. Did you know if you ever wonder what to do next, check the mini map. Which levels and areas you have unlocked? Okay. Right, but it doesn't really help you that much. Hey, arcade panic. Isn't that the devs? Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, flashbacks to that one video. Uh oh. Oh, hey, I don't have a timer. Oh, it was just that one level with the timer. Okay. A uh, new hands. Slot machine. Go ahead and buy that. Gamer hat. You guys ever wish you were pregnant? This tag lawyer. Kill tag lawyer. Do you guys ever wish you could experience the miracle of birth? Why don't you try out our bowling? It will be fun, I promise. Oh, uh, oh, I murdered them. The opposite of what I wish. What does that mean? You wish no one could experience the miracle of childbirth? Used to find it passing, but now it's just a corrupted mess. If I can't do it, no one can! Removes pregnancy from Earth. This is the famous arcade panic. The oil-powered arcade. As you can imagine, the corrupted oil is giving them some problems. Check this out. Watch this. I'm going to get a strike. That's going to be a strike. That's a strike. Thank you. You guys bowlers? I love bowling. I uh, I love bowling, whether it's Wii bowling, whether it's bowling in real life. I'm a, I, I do enjoy bowling. I got a lot of good memories associated with bowling. A lot of dates associated with bowling. Is that not a second strike? Peter. I that said greater. <laughs> Couldn't even focus to play Borderlands 2. You know what? That's the biggest tragedy of all. Uh, I've never had a pregnancy scare, thank God. Uh, it's probably helped by I, I wear three condoms. One, you know, one for me, one for her, one for the good lord. You got a triple wrap it, chat. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm so safe about sex. I make her wear a condom too. Ah uh, ha ha ha. Ahaha. 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 Guys, thanks for coming to the stand-up show tonight. Um, unfortunately, the headliner did have to cancel, so I will, I'll be doing the whole show tonight. Stick around. A lot of great jokes coming your way. Remember, it's a two-drink minimum. Please tip your waitresses. And, uh, no, ladies, I'm not single. <laughs> Did I die? Many are pondering. Many are wondering, <laughs> should this streamer die? <laughs> Go-kart tracks are no longer safe. Oh, he's dead. I killed him. 
feel bad about that. What is it? Who's, did you see that dog character over there? Oh, 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 I missed the bowling ball. I would like to go back. Oh, I'll just die. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, I see, I see. I see, I see. Oh my, okay. I saw a lot of people today saying that this game was like an N64 game and maybe the devs have described it as such, but aesthetically, I don't think this is an N64 game. This is way closer to like a Sega Saturn game. Oh, okay. They're dead now. It's way closer aesthetically to like a Saturn game than an N64 game. It doesn't have the N64 mud. It doesn't have the N64 uh, uh, sludge textures. Maybe I'm wrong though, you know? Who is this? Who is this delightful character? Who is that charming and not at all terrifying character? No transparency in textures for authenticity. I mean, yeah, if they're going for the Saturn look, for sure. And then if they're if they're doing the PlayStation thing, well, Saturn, PlayStation could do some transparency, right? I mean, you still had an awfully large amount of dithering, but as far as I remember, Saturn can't do like any transparency in its sprite stuff. N64 could. N64 had transparency, and I think PS1 had transparency, but uh, the Saturn couldn't. What were they thinking? I don't think... Um, I don't think thought was really put into the Saturn. <laughs> Sorry to the Saturn heads. I think the Saturn uh, could be described as a whole of what were they thinking from Sega. Uh, specifically Sega of Japan just like fucking it up. Just goofed him. like uh, I, I like this i mean i liked you know what i gotta be honest i think the only saturn game i played is nights into dreams but i really liked it i thought it was real good i want to play more saturn games but it's like it's not hard to see like why the playstation beat it out when the playstation seemed to be like the stronger console wise and also the PlayStation was like cheaper PlayStation had a bigger foothold internationally I mean I, I feel I think I feel similarly about the Saturn as I do the N64 which is uh, it's it's best games I would take any day of the week i think its best games are some of the greatest games ever but uh i i get why the playstation one all right can i bait you okay
Chat rooms for people who browse CD romance. Yeah, that's that's pretty amped. Now, all of this being said, um, the Dreamcast is the best ever doing. When it comes to Sega consoles, the Dreamcast is just the best to ever do it. There, somewhere out there in the great beyond, there's a world where the Saturn sold okay and the 32X sold okay. And it meant that the Dreamcast got to have a long and healthy life. And I'm not even, you know, I'm not even um, saying, oh, and then Sega would still be around making consoles. I don't think so. But if it meant more time with the Dreamcast and whatever the devs over working on that Dreamcast were doing, whatever the devs over at Sega were cooking in the Dreamcast era, if they got to do just a little bit more of that, uh... I, I think the world would be a significantly better place. I gotta be real with you. At the very least, I'd be a significantly happier person. Depression uh, is Sega's fault. Thank you. Bounce back, just carefully return. Oh, it's cool. The joystick shows you guys what I'm doing on the joystick. That's funny. That rules. This music's great. Okay, so there's gear there and there's gear up there. Did I come from there? Yes, so I'm gonna go for that and there's a gear over there. So I'm gonna go for all of those uh Oh We're good Ma Maurizio city No, no What is your favorite console chat? How many people are going to say the PlayStation 2? Because mine's the PlayStation 2. PS2 easy? Okay. 360 is up there? Okay. It... More power to you. It isn't for me. I mean, it was definitely a, a big part of my life. But I don't see myself going back to the 360 too often. But I will say, you know, the 360, it wasn't the games for 360 that um, changed my brain. It was the online stuff. It was uh, playing Halo Reach until 3 a.m. over Xbox Live. It was doing GTA 4 free roam lobbies. That's that's what I'll remember more than the games. But, you know, there were, there were great games. It's just a lot of them were multi plat Xbox didn't really have exclusives that I cared about outside of halo maybe ds ds you know what you don't see that one often that's a good choice yes is very good good choice you guys ever play spectrobes Should I do a Spectrobe stream? Okay, 
right, I don't know how to get up. I don't think I can. We'll just leave that for now. Jank ass 3D action games on PS2 kind of docks a point off in my mind. Not for me, man. Not for, I mean, I'm not playing those. But the bad, I, I mean, like a crunch. If we're, if we're docking points off of a console because of not great games, I think the DS loses about 800 points with the amount of shovelware on that thing. You know what I mean? Like, love the DS, but the DS is the Wii of handhelds. Yeah, I mean, and the PS2 could do the PS1 games, so you you had two consoles worth of libraries. The aesthetic was sharp. The text, or the tech worked. Like it's just, uh, it was a good thing. They got a good thing going. You see that gold rabbit up there? How? How do you think I get that? You know, it doesn't matter. I don't think I haven't, I haven't looked if there's completion bonuses. Uh, you know what? I will when we meet, when I need to, let's just go. I want to get all the gears or as many gears as I can because I got brain rot, but I'm not concerned with the, the gold rabbits and the, all that jazz. Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. Okay, well, we're talking about um, good things. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it had Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. The ba I, I will just say, I think any console with with good backwards compat um, kind of fucking rules. This area is relatively safe. The oil's making some grumpy noises around here. Get rid of the minigame. Get the prizes and go. I swear, if you even start looking around for weird noises, all right, I get, I get it. It would have been easier if this dialogue didn't exist at all, but this area needs someone to talk to. Okay. Maverick answer, PS4 uh, mods. Mods, I think we have a child in the chant. Go ahead and execute him. I'm very conflicted on the PS4 because uh, the first half of that era, actually I would say the first three quarters, oh, I get it, I get it. Quarters of that era, um, I went, I don't know if I like video games anymore. The first like chunk of that era, I went, ah, these games stink ass. All of the devs that I liked became obsessed with, you know, it, it was the era where it, every game became the the third person action, you know, third person shooter action game narrative driven Sony stuff that I really don't like. And so I was like, ah, oh, man, maybe, maybe I don't like video games anymore. And then I remember, I remember Persona 5 coming out and going like, wait a second, wait a minute. Maybe I do like video games. It's just, I don't like those video games. 
and uh and then life was good again so it was um it was the era where the big triple a game releases I, that's when I realized that that stuff doesn't appeal to me anymore And so like cool because it means I was playing stuff that now does appeal to me, but also It was kind of like what happened to the big triple-a game releases why 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 are they all like this now? Why did they make them like this? I'm gonna go on record and say, I think this generation will be remembered as a bad one. I'm gonna go on record and say, this generation will be remembered as the generation of no games. From the big AAA devs, you know. This generation was handicapped by COVID as soon as it started. Oh, you believe in that kind of stuff? Okay, didn't know that. All right, guys, we're gonna have to get some moderator applications going. Didn't didn't know you were like that Kirby. That's sad. I just mean from the big AAA devs. I think this is going to be remembered as the generation of uh where are the games? PlayStation ain't got games. What am I missing? Xbox ain't got games. And now we're in the middle of like an industry crash and uh, you know, I'm just saying, where are the games? We want the games. Oh, okay. Oh, so I didn't need to go up there. Oh. I think all that's up there is money. Um, okay, but we're still missing a couple of years. It really hasn't been much of an arcade. It's just, it's just been a bowling alley. Anyone else notice that? <laughs> I, I guess that was the arcade over there. It's just been a bowling alley. It's, not really an arcade. Hard to say no games. A actually, it's really easy. It's just two words. Few syllables, even. All I'm saying is, I ain't played a game 
on the goddamn PS5 that made me go, I'm glad I spent this much money on this thing. I've played a lot of good games. I have not played a game on it that made me go, I'm glad I spent this much money on the PlayStation 5 instead of just upgrading my PC. None of the exclusives have impressed me in any way. Not that they haven't impressed me, but they, they haven't made me go, ah, oh, that list was worth it. Oh, oh, Demon Souls remake. That's cool. I heard that was good. I can play that. Wait. Oh, right. This is how the level started. No exclusives really, and that's fine. I'm not um I'm not arguing for exclusives. I'm arguing for why did I why did this cost seven hundred dollars? Why are the games seventy dollars? I don't feel like I'm getting anything more out of these. I'm having more fun with fifteen dollar indie games. Why did I buy this? And I stand by it. Oh, you know what? I haven't played Spider-Man 2. I haven't played God of War Ragnarok. Maybe those are the ones, guys. Maybe then it'll be good. I think I, 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 think I have said this on stream recently. I ain't fucking buying a PlayStation 6. I'm not buying a PlayStation 6 unless there's something in on there where it's like, holy shit, I got to get that now. Uh, I think I'm just going to save that money and just keep upgrading my PC and, you know, buy the next Nintendo console and then just move on with my life. I'm not I don't think I'm gonna get the next PlayStation or Xbox or anything like that Because I I don't feel like my purchase of a PlayStation 5 has been justified yet I don't feel like I've had $700 worth of fun with that yet How the hell do I get up here? Oh. Oh. I'll buy Spider-Man 2 at some point. You know, I'm waiting for it to be like 20 bucks. Same with God of War Ragnarok. That's when those games are uh, fun for me. Is when they're 20 bucks and I uh, just bullshit around in them for like a couple weeks and then move on I don't um, 100 percent them I don't really revere them very much I think they're just all right I have a good time with them for a little bit and then I move on how the hell I wish I understood You know, at a certain point, 
buying a thing because you've always bought the thing. Even if, oh, well, the last one kind of disappointed me, but this one will be good. At a certain point, you, you gotta realize you're a sucker, right? Like, at a certain point, you gotta realize, like, well, that's what they want from you. Just to be like, well, the last one wasn't very good, but maybe this one will be. At a, at a certain point, you have to be aware that you're a sucker, right? How do I get up there? And that's how I feel with the PS5. I feel like, oh, I bought this thing because I always buy a PlayStation and I feel like a sucker. I feel like I'm an idiot for buying this. Now, to be fair, I bought it because of the new Ratchet and Clank and I did like that game, but I also kind of feel like that thing has just been <laughs> my $700 ratchet and clank machine. And that's not really what I wanted. Buying a PS6 to play Angry Birds, fuck the haters. Hey, more power to you, man. More power, you doing, what are you doing? Star Wars Angry Birds, you doing Angry Birds too? Which Angry Birds you playing? How the fuck do I get up here? How the fuck? If you can believe it, I am trying to do an impossible jump once again. Shut the fuck up. I don't know. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. Okay, you know what? Let's just move on. You know what? I'll figure it out later. It's killing the momentum of the stream. Let's move on. Jesus fucking Christ. Coop. Let's just move on. Oh, what's, is that a, no, that's just, uh, that's a shadow. That wasn't a hole, that's a shadow. Shadow's hole. Isn't it the, it's the year of shadow now, guys. Legally, they have to show us this hole. Damn, not here. They're doing Angry Birds take Istanbul, not Constantinople. Damn. Pizza time. Pizza time. Dude, what do you what do you guys think? Uh you think there's gonna be a Pepino reference? Any pizza tower references? <laughs> That's what I say when I walk to my local dominoes. Oh shit, we got a time limit on this one. Okay, what do we got? Chef hat. Cool. Spaghetti hat. Cool. Hey, 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 I'm a pizza man, literally. I need to get to the nearest Morco's Pizza. They called me saying they want to hire me. I wonder what my role is gonna be. Got you, man. Pizza time. Right, we're, I'm gonna hope that the time limit is as lenient, becomes as lenient in this as it did in the other level. What do you mean by be careful? Oh, he's dead. Oh, they ruined the joke. Okay. <laughs> they over joked the joke. Don't do that. 
Me and me had Tonios. I thought that said Tostinos. The vehicle is transforming into a monster. Oh my god. There's so much going on right now. Oh, he's pissed. He's still I thought I thought destroying the oil would help me. No, he's still he's down there and he's still pissed. Get up there. Get up there. I beat Margit first try. I don't even, I don't even, I gotta be honest. I don't even remember who Margit is. Elden Ring has been flushed from my brain. Sorry. Sorry to the Elden Ringers. That game has been wiped from my memory. I have internalized and carpentalized that game and I can't remember shit anymore. I don't even think I ever got to even meet the dung eater. Mac pizza. I am the Pizza King Evangeliest. Praise the Pizza King. All right, thanks lady. Do you have a game that you know you beat, but you don't remember anything about it? Probably a lot of them, aren't there? Buongiornissimo. I need your help placing some pepperoni on the pizza. That is not Italian. That was like Swedish. Okay. You just took all my time. You can't do that to me. You can't do that to me. Where are the other pizzas? I'm missing pizza. Where's the pizza? Oh, fuck. They should make a, um, like a Sonic 3 Blue Sphere level, but with pizza colors. Thank you. Don't remember the Uncharted games? I do. I remember all of my favorite Uncharted friends. I remember Solly. Remember Solly? I remember Elena. Remember Elena? I remember Nathan. Remember Nathan? The gang's all here. Time extended. I do, I re don't remember the villains of those games. <laughs> like at all. I remember, um, I remember in Uncharted 1, there's a, a bald guy with a scar. And then I think Uncharted 2, the guy is like sexy. And that's all I remember. 
And that's my review. But I remember the third act twists very well, because those are that's my favorite part of those games. Is in the third act when those games just go, ah, fuck it, it's Indiana Jones, let's go crazy. And then they didn't do that in Uncharted 4 because Uncharted 4 is embarrassed about being an Uncharted game. Uh-oh, can I say that? Uh-oh. Hello. Is that the poster for the new Fallout TV show? Do you take why I'm not a Fallout fan? It's getting really good reviews right now. But you know what else got good reviews? Uncharted 4, or sorry, Fallout 4. Sorry, this isn't an Uncharted 4 hate stream. Fallout 4 got good reviews. So. Think of that what you will. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's over for me. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's like, it's getting good reviews, but it's, I, I'm not gonna watch it. I gotta be real. I, mm -mm. I stopped being interested in Fallout more than Fallout New Vegas and, and Fallout 1 and 2. Those are cool, but uh, not interested in new Fallout things. Once the Fallout series stopped being interested in being the Fallout series, I stopped uh, uh, giving a shit. But it got um, good scores on Rotten Tomatoes. So, you know, if you're someone who uh, judges everything based on the Rotten Tomatoes score, good news, the unsure, the Wow, I can't stop doing that. The Fallout show's good, allegedly. I'm getting bullied. Don't die. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, help me. I think the Rotten tomatoes vacation of like media literacy has been really interesting because like Rotten Tomatoes used to be a really good resource for like getting the general consensus on the thing. But now it is like, Getting a good Rotten Tomatoes score is like more prestigious than an Academy Award, you know? Please help me get all the pizza slices. Yeah, I got you, man. Time extended. Time extended. No problem, man. I got you, man. Last slice. I think it's over there. He thinks. 3.7 on Letterboxd should be an Academy Award. I think if you get a four on Letterboxd, you uh, you're in the Pantheon. You're in you're in the uh, the Pantheons of greats. I get, I, I, dude, <laughs> I get real smug when I watch something. I go like, that I, I don't really know anything about. I watch a movie that I know very little about. 
and then I go to like log it on letterbox. I think like, oh man, that was great. And I go to log it on letterbox and it's got like, it's got like a four and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I know when things are good. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a movie guy. I don't need a letterbox score for Shawshank Redemption. How are you gonna know it's good? How are you gonna know something's good if other people don't tell you it's good? Hello? What are you, sick? What are you, crazy? nuts how do i know whether to like or dislike something if a youtuber doesn't tell me hello if i have no way of knowing whether something is good unless there's a 45 minute video essay about it that i watch before i ever even watch the thing and it spoils everything Is that not how you guys consume your media? Is that not how you guys consume your content? I'm going about this backwards. Babe 2 sitting at 3.2 too low. Too low. Too low. I, I'm gonna have to make the video essay. We're gonna have to change the people's minds. Here's why Babe 2 is a currently underrated masterpiece. What I do is I uh, read the Wikipedia page, the plot summary. I talk about the flea liquor uh, wheelchair scene, wheelchair car scene. And then at the end, I give like a wistful personal antidote uh, about how I used to watch Babe 2 Pig in the City uh, every every weekend with my my uh, dead grandparents. Uh, it was my Peepaw's favorite movie. And now Peepaw isn't with us, but Babe 2 Pig in the City will always be with me. Will stick with me for the rest of my life. Letterboxd like R-Y-M and that everyone thinks the coolest person in the world. I don't know what R-Y-M is, but yes. And you know what? There's just some legitimately, I've seen some legitimately great film criticism from Letterboxd reviews. And the same way I've seen some legitimately great games criticism from, from Backlog. But um, I, everyone there thinks that they're the smartest and the funniest and so every review is a joke review you know 90 percent of the they oh uh oh 90 percent of the reviews are joke reviews you will watch like the most emotionally destructible like you watch a movie that'll just destroy you emotionally and you'll go to like log it on letterbox and uh the like top review will be like uh well that just happened uh sitcom audience laughs and it's like uh yeah i don't know that that wasn't funny you watch boy in the striped pajamas and the top letterbox will review will be uh boy in the uh the riz Fortnite." 700 000 likes on letterbox oh okay I guess you could call that a review. <laughs> to 
Pimp a Butterfly in a top rated album on Rate Your Music is rad. What's the top rated movie on Letterboxd? I'm gonna bet it's Shawshank Redemption. I'm gonna bet it's Shawshank Redemption or The Dark Knight or Oppenheimer. Oh, she literally just needs to cross the street. Billy Madison? I don't I don't think that's it. Is it Barbie? Did I do this? Oh, I didn't do this. This is a different one. Okay. Is it, it's not Citizen Kane. I know that, it's gotta be Casablanca, right? It ain't gonna be Citizen Kane because the Zoomers can't handle Citizen Kane. They can't handle the sheer vermiltitude, ver vermiltitude, vermultitude of uh, Orson Welles' masterpiece, Citizen Kane. Highest movie is a foreign film. Oh, it's Parasite. It's Parasite. I'm, I would bet my life it's Parasite. Which like, dope. Parasite was good. Wrong? What the fuck? What is the highest reviewed movie? What is the highest reviewed movie on Letterboxd then? Oh, no, I already did this one. No, you fucked me. You've ruined my life and you fucked me. Harry, 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 I don't even know what that is. Boring. Does that have any Muppets in it? Nope. Boring. Turn that shit off. Okay, what's the highest rated a a good movie? <laughs> what's the highest rated movie that has more than five reviews? First is technically Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers is the show. That doesn't count. I'm hitting back up and it's, it keeps backing me up. Stop making sense is number three. Okay, I can live with that. But that's a, do that's a concert film. What's a, give me a real movie. A fictional film. Come and see. Did you? You had to go all the way to eight to find that criteria. That's crazy. Uh, come and see's good. I mean, come and see's great, honestly, but. Not one of my favorites because it makes me sad and I don't want that. So. 10 is 12 Angry Men. Now that I, that I would agree with. That movie's great. Uh, you're talking about the, the 2000s uh, TV movie remake, right? With James Gandolfini and Jack Lemmon. Right? That's the one, right? Where does my cousin Vinny place in this list? Can we get that? Where does the Muppet movie place in this list? Just so I can feel smug and justified? It's, it's gotta be top 10, right? Top five? How far down do you have to go to find a Muppet movie? Any Muppet movie. How far do you have to go to find a movie that contains a puppet? I feel like you probably don't have to go too far. Legitimately, I bet you don't have to go too far because of Jurassic Park. 
or a Star Wars. You know, I bet Empire Strikes Back is, is up there somewhere. Uh, John Carpenter's The Thing has a puppet in it. Wilford Brimley. Did you know he was a puppet the whole time? A lot of people didn't know that. He's the Swedish chef's second cousin. <laughs> they wanted to get uh, the Swedish chef for the, uh, <laughs> the diabetes commercials. But they thought that that would be, you know, that would, uh, that's, that's fucked up. They got a second cousin, Wilford Brimley, instead. Oh, we're back at the start again. Okay, well, there's one gear I can't get because of the orange bridge. I've been this way. Possum was here. Oh, pizza possums. What the hell? That's a reference. What the hell? I only know about that game because Rocco for Mega 64 uh, bought it. He was, he was buying the Steam Deck. And he, he had to buy a game for some reason, and he bought that. Two Taylor Swift docs in the top 50. Uh, okay. Interesting. the last waltz in there somewhere where does where does marty place what's the top martin scorsese movie it's probably going to be like wolf of wall street or goodfellas out of 50 of these are Japanese and 10 of them are anime uh well are they are they Ghibli anime or are they like my my little sister can't possibly be this cute kind of anime It's even Galleon. Oh, that's fine. As long as it isn't like my little sister, the beautiful dog woman or something, you know, like as long as it isn't like creepo shit. Berserk. What is up with Letterbox? Letterbox sometimes has shows and then sometimes doesn't have shows. So like Berserk is in there and it's an it's an OVA and it's like are, do we count OVAs? I thought Letterbox was for movies. But like there's there's OVAs, I've seen OVAs, I've seen YouTube videos, I've seen I've seen all kinds of shit. Yeah, but they won't have the unboxing ring, which legitimately is more of a movie than a, some of the other shit that's on there. They won't have the unboxing ring, but they'll have Nostalgia Critics The Wall.
you, asshole. Got it. Okay. Why did it, I didn't even I didn't even hit the I didn't even hit the button. I didn't even hit the button. Respect to Connor Malley, but the mask didn't get a damn Blu-ray release. I would buy it if it did. I uh, I watched that today. I I had not seen that. Somehow I missed that. It was that in 103 The Fever. I just didn't watch for some reason. So I saw those, and I said this in the Discord, but funny shit, good shit, great shit. But much like Nathan for you, um, I spend a lot of the time with like their stuff going, what is real and what isn't? To the point where like, I, you know, I still find it funny, but I kind of forget it's supposed to be funny because I'm so ramped up in like, how do they make this? How was this put together? How was this made? How do they make this? Um, but goddamn, the mask was so good. Connor O'Malley really has perfected that kind of character. Just like dead behind the eyes, but so full of life. Just the modern idiot. Uh, just, just really, you know, just beautiful. I get, allegedly he's working on a full on movie now. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. Supposedly he's doing a movie and then like Joe Para is working on another show. So like that, that's cool with me. Sounds good to me. Sounds like two things I'm excited to watch. Okay, now where does Rugrats in Paris placed on the, the top letterbox? Because I gave that thing a perfect five because it deserves it, one. So how is it? It's got to be up there, right? Nirvana, the band, the show. The word show is literally in the title. What is it doing on Letterbox? I thought Letterbox was for movies. Am I wrong? Okay, don't fuck this up. We've come this far. Don't fuck this up. You fucked it up. You fucked it up. What did I just tell you? I thought there was a gold rabbit over here. That's why I came all the way over here. Uh, I don't think there's a gold rabbit over here. Why did I come here? Top 50 pieces of media ever put to video. Um, yeah, I don't know. For what, Nirvana the band, the show, or Rugrats in Paris? Nirvana the band, the show, yeah, you know, I don't know. Rugrats in Paris. What are you, nuts? That's a top 10. Did you not see those babies pilot a mech? They literally pilot Mecha Godzilla. That's a top 10 piece of media. I had a dream that they made a new Rugrats movie that was like, you know, exactly from the 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 era. Like looked looked exact. Uh, oh, 
guys, you forgot to put the wall in. Guys, you guys, you forgot the wall, devs. Devs, you forgot the wall here. Just a heads up, devs. Okay. Um, I had a dream that they made a new Rugrats movie. And it was like... I want to say it was like Rugrats Summer Vacation or something, which doesn't even make sense because they're babies. They don't go to school. But it, like, I just remember, like, there was a dentist and, you know, the famous, like, inside mouth Rugrats shot. You know, the classic Rugrats shot from inside the mouth. It was that, um, but like they were like, what whatever baby it was was like chewing up the dentist, and he was like screaming in pain. And I I I watched that movie or that part of that movie, and I thought like, man, that's um that's dark for a Rugrats movie. And then I saw like the movies rated like PG, and I was like, oh okay, well that's why. This is a darker Rugrats. This ain't your kids, you know, Rugrats, all right? Oh yeah, that's what the left bump is for. Which was first, Ava or Rugrats in Paris? Ava. Ava, but not by that much. In Ava coming to America is right around the time of Rugrats in Paris. So who inspired who? Who came first, Tommy Pickles or Shinji? I was gonna say Shinji Mikami. Who came first? Tommy Pickles or Shinji Mikami? Go ahead, let me know. What's the best Batman movie? Uh, Mask of Phantasm. Mask of Phantasm is a, a top five movie for me. Mask of Phantasm. If you really, you really want to watch a live action one, if you really got to watch a live action one, uh, there's good live action ones, but yeah, dude, Mask of Phantasm. Mask of Phantasm and then watch uh, B-Taz. Well, technically you should, wa you should watch some of B-Taz and then Mask of Phantasm if you want to watch it in release order. But Mask of Phantasm is, um, you can watch. Are you familiar with the character of Batman? Are you familiar with the character of the Jorker? Okay, are you familiar with Alfred? Are you familiar with uh, Batman's origin that his parents died and he went, I am go uh, I will avenge you by ju uh, doing justice. Then uh, you'll understand Mask of Phantasm. As long as you're familiar with those, you'll understand Mask of Phantasm in it. It's a top five movie for me. I think about that movie. I'm not going to talk about it right now because uh, if I start talking about it, I cry. <laughs> Which like, don't give, you know, is uh, this guy's crying over the uh, Batman animated movie. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Because there's shit in there that is so heartbreaking that I get, I'm like getting choked up thinking about it. What a movie. It's good. It's good. And the good news is if you like it, there's a whole anime. There's a whole show that is almost just as good, if not at times better. Even sneak it and steal. I need you to sneak in and steal a blueprint. Don't worry. 
They stole that blueprint first from someone else. My uh, my Hotel Mario Mario sometimes goes into Mr. Dink territory. Jesus, speaking of Batman the Animated Series, what is this music? Hey, you know what? Rip Shirley Walker, straight up. Hi, can I help you? I cannot wait for my vacation to come. It's just 10 years away. Okay, you can't talk to that guy. Okay, tag lawyer. Where's the hand store? It's funny. All right, now we're talking about BTAS, but it is, I, I, I wanna say today is Shirley Walker's birthday. Um, she was the composer for BTAS and STAS. She was the composer for, for Batman Mask of Phantasm. It's crazy how good her stuff is. I was thinking that today because I was listening to some music from Mask of Phantasm. And then it got me thinking, like, it's crazy how good um, everything in BTAS is. Uh, uh, we're never going to get a, a show like that again, are we? We're just, um, it's, a, it's animated. But the executives trusted the, de the, the team behind it to take something that big of a brand and do something so like good with it. It just feels like everyone was firing on all cylinders making that show. And they had the complete free will or, or freedom to do so. And that's, uh, that's never gonna happen again. Certainly not with Batman. Not that there haven't been good Batman shows since, but um, that's never gonna happen again, right? Uh, I want this hat. It's just, I don't know. I think BTAS is one of the most, like, I just think it's one of the best things ever made, straight up. <laughs> um, and so to, I just think about, like, man, imagine if creative people were given big budgets and little to no executive meddling to make the thing they want. Imagine the world we would live in if that was not a um, fringe case. Imagine if that was just the norm and creative people got funded by big studios to make interesting shit all the time. Wouldn't that be crazy? Wouldn't that just be nuts? Anyways, chat, don't forget that the uh, the Animators Guild is probably going on strike this summer. And uh, you should show them as much support as you humanly can. Because they're not gonna get the they're not gonna get the support of the Writers Guild or the Screen Actors Guild, right? 
I wish they would, but they're not. So you got to pick up the slack, chat members. This is now your problem. No, but you know what I mean. I just feel like they're going to have to they're going to have to work like twice as hard to get half the amount of support that the writers guild and the screen actors guild got and like i'm happy that the writers guild and the screen actors guild got the support that it did um i just i hope that the animators guild gets that level of support so get excited for me this summer to become a uh, non-stop yapping about that. Get excited for me to never shut the hell up about the animators guild being on strike. Uh, because that's something that's something that's important to me, man. I don't know. When I was a kid, I wanted to be it, it, like when I was a teenager, I wanted to be an animator. Um, and figuring, learning that, um, <laughs> oh, you have to have just a tremendous work ethic. You have to be so talented and work so damn hard for peanuts and never get your due and never get to make the thing you want to make and always be stuck with bullshit executives and always just get fucked over um made me go oh i don't want to be an animator mm -mm, mm -mm. but i have tremendous respect to those whose love outweighs uh the, the their pros outweigh their cons i have tremendous respect and i i I wish I could be one of them. But I I simply am uh, too lazy. Uh, <laughs> let's call a spade a spade. I'm simply too goddamn lazy. Uh, why do I keep screwing this up? Chad, you ever abandon your dreams? I think it's really easy to abandon your dreams. I think it's so much harder to stick with things. I think it's, I think it's hard to uh, give up. I think it's harder, you know, to stick with it. I think most people would feel that way. But I don't know. You know, I've, I've abandoned things. I've abandoned my son. Sometimes I think about abandoning streaming, but uh, streaming is the only time that I've felt like uh, th this is the, it's the only time I felt like the puzzle piece fits. 
And so it's like, it's easy to like want to quit. But I know that like this is this is right for me. So um so I don't quit. At least not yet. <laughs> I, I keep fucking this up. This rate I'll never ball with LeBron. You don't know that. You don't know that. Um, you know, you could be like a make a wish kid and get to ball with LeBron. You never know. got time Stop. We're okay Is there? Oh, you dumbass. Mods, delete me from the game. Is there a celebrity that you wish you could spend time hanging out with? Is there a celebrity that you wish you could have like a casual dinner with? Uh, you, f you really fucked up now, dumbass. God damn it. Mr. Beast? Okay, interesting choice. You're not concerned that Mr. Beast would go like, would like lock you in a suitcase for 24 hours or something? Do the, the suitcase suffocation challenge. Come this way. This one's God damn it. Run away with Remy Wool. I don't know who that is, but this sounds like a horny comment. So, uh, Dan? I don't know. <laughs> Having a spaghetti dinner with Jonathan Blow so I can flick meatballs at him. All right, that's good. Did you guys know? Hold on, that just reminded me. Did you guys know Phil Fish? Okay, Phil Fish is. I want to say he's a character on uh, what's the show? Seventies police sitcom. Bill Fish actor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Abe Vigoda played Phil Fish on Barney Miller in the 70s. Do you know that? Do we have any Barney Miller heads in chat tonight? Any any barn heads? I think I understand why Phil Fish is an asshole now. If I was named after a character who was on Barney Miller, I, I, I would also become an asshole. If my parents named me like Norm from Cheers, I would turn out to be an asshole. Okay. 
If my parents named me Cliff Clavin, I would become an asshole. Uh, oh, I goofed this. I goofed it. Chill with Mega 64 crew at Denny's or Disneyland. That's that's pretty much my answer. I would love to go to Disneyland at like a good time where it's like not b too busy with uh with with Rocco and Kevin from Mega 64. Cuz they know they know all the Disneyland tricks. And uh, I, I, that would be cool. Truthfully, I would just like to have a discussion, a, a long talk with Mega64 about creative choices and stuff like that. How, the, how did they do this? How did they come up with this? And I know like the answer to stuff like that is like, I don't know, we just did, I don't know. Just thought of it and came up with it, but Shaq? Uh, yeah, Shaq would be cool. I think, uh... Conan O'Brien would be cool. I like Conan a lot. That would that would be another one where I would just be like, I have questions I would like to ask, and the answer to all of them would be, I don't know, just came up with it. I don't know. There's always a more than zero percent chance I can run into Shaq at any moment. He's that big? Oh my god, he blocks out the sun? Jesus Christ, Shaq's back in town! Holy shit! <laughs> uh oh, no, wrong. Chill with Norm McDonald? Well, he's dead, so that would be a little awkward. Limmy. Limmy would be cool. I did think you said Jimmy, and so I thought you were talking about like Jimmy Fallon. Would you hang out with Jimmy Fallon? You get an invite to be a guest on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. They're gonna pay you 10 grand. Everything is comped. Flight, hotel, food. You're gonna be a guest on the show to promote your dream project that Jimmy himself is helping personally fund with no oversight. Would you, would you accept? All right, this is the run chat. Watch this. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <gasps> We're okay. And that's the way gamers do. And that's the way the gaming goes. How the fuck do I get up there? Wait, how do I get up there? Wait a s- no, 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 no. How do I get up? Oh, 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 oh. The easy way. 
It ain't the fast way, but it is the easy way. And I whiffed it. And I fucking threw it all away. And I tossed it. And I whiffed it. Okay. Don't hit the checkpoint. Get to show 65 year olds a YouTube poop. Is that who watches Jimmy Fallon? I genuinely don't know what his audience is. His guests are like too like teeny bopper. I feel like for a 65 year old audience. I don't know who watches him. Cause the format is for 65 year olds, but the guests aren't. You know, he's not having Pat Boone on. Pat Boone's still alive. I don't think so. <laughs> I like Jimmy Fallon because his house band is the roots. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. I um the first year with Jimmy Fallon. I I kinda watched a little bit because I thought like the tonight show is such an institution. This is so exciting. I'm like the right age for this. And I get like this is this is gonna be, you know, the way everyone talked about uh you know watching letterman or watching carson like i get to experience that now this is my time this is my tonight show host i watched him for about a year and when uh, i hate this shit this guy fucking sucks and uh haven't watched him since turns out uh my tonight show host should have just been conan Turns out that's the guy I find funny. So, oh, okay, we're just here now. I what? Why is why did it checkpoint here? All of us. Okay. What shit with Space Ghost? Yeah, man. That would be yeah. Space Ghost is a good answer. Where do we go from here? Don't throw this, don't throw this, don't throw this. Don't choke. Oh, oh you dumbass. Okay. Now here's the thing. I think maybe I could try to get over it. But I also know there's a gear in the gear. So what if I just gently, gently Okay, there's one more gear. Oh, I'm supposed to sneak in and steal a blueprint, right? What was that about? I didn't... Was I supposed to go in the front door? Yeah, I didn't even... I haven't even gone inside yet. Okay. Is yeah, Space Ghost a good answer? Honestly, like, to, to give a serious answer related to that... Um... A lot of those, like, early Cartoon Network folks, I would love to talk to. Um, you know, Mike Lazo, even though he's maybe an asshole. I can't remember what the verdict was on that. Uh, um, you know, C. Martin Croker, rest in peace. He would have been great to talk to. I have lots of questions about how how things happen. Uh, I'm gonna say 
my answer is uh, Justin Roiland, because I want to ask him how he comes up with all those funny lines on Rick and Morty. On television's Rick and Morty. How did how did he come up with the idea of Rick and Morty? The of uh, rambunctious Rick and his young sidekick Morty. I whiffed it. I saw someone say that like, oh, Smiling Friends is going to be the next Rick and Morty, everyone. And um, I think what they meant by that is a show that was really popular and well-liked. And then people are going to start pretending it was never popular and well-liked. Um, though I will say comparing season one of Smiling Friends to season one of Rick and Morty um, I, I do uh, I do think Smiling Friends is an infinitely funnier show so you know I don't know but it is it is wild that like Rick and Morty has has killed itself so much that people forget that that show was like really well liked the first like two seasons three seasons were really really well liked it was really popular and really well received it's just it got it got too popular i keep doing this and it's pissing me off it got too popular and then the quality started to drop off and then now people are just like no it was never a uh, big no one ever liked that show. I swear to God, everyone liked that show. Stop doing this, streamer! You're an asshole. You're an asshole. I hate this streamer. He's an asshole. Do you guys have a show? Do you guys have a show that was popular or, or not even popular, but like is well received that you just have never liked? I'm going to piss so much fucking blood. I'm going to say my answer five o'clock news. Uh, kind of boring. Put on more war footage. Oh, oh my god. Holy shit. Snooze. I, I'm just gonna throw up, I think. Where's the guy in the Steam review who said this game is too easy? I want his head. Big Bang Theory? Well, Big Bang Theory isn't well-received. It's popular, but it's not well-received. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Please. Uh, I'm gonna say like a large amount of anime That are like well received I don't like particularly Like uh, Attack on Titan the attack on Titan sucks. Oh, nope, no saving that. I think, uh, 
I think Attack on Titan sucks. I think. Um. Uh, another answer. Okay. Uh, oh, I know a good answer. Fucking JoJo. JoJo Circus. Hate that shit. Stop telling me to do fucking stretches. I don't give a shit. I feel like every year there's a new anime. It's uh, like season one or two of it. And it's really popular and everyone goes this shit is the best and I watch it and I go I don't know that wasn't very good Attack on Titan This is gonna piss people off Chainsaw Man I didn't I, I watched like four episodes of Chainsaw Man and uh, I, I don't think I get it I don't know it's it all right I guess I think it's because a lot of anime is like made for teens and I'm just I'm not a teen anymore so like teenager problems don't it's not that I can't relate to them but it's like uh I don't know I don't care about the protagonist here this is his problem this is his goal I don't care Uh, Spy Family was one. The Spy Family's all right. It's fine. It's fine. It just it didn't really do anything for me. But it all right. Oh my god. The goal is good because he's fucking stupid and ate shit for his whole life. Yeah, uh, it's. Uh, Chainsaw Man is, it's all right. It all right, but everyone acts like it's the best thing ever. And it, it, it was, it was fine. It, again, watched four episodes and went, okay. Yeah, this isn't for me. I didn't just, just did. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm so fried from this shit. Uh, we're not playing this tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> in case you're like, uh, is he going to do day three of fall over, over and over again? No, no, we'll do Half-Life 2 episode one tomorrow. I'll give myself a break. Give you a break. Give me a break. Give my thumbs a break. No mf -er has watched Kino's Journey. What's uh, what's Kino's Journey about? It's about pictures on disposable cameras. Isn't that what Ki isn't that what Kino's was? I don't remember. When are they making Radio Shack's Journey? I don't. I did Bob. Thank you. Okay, saved. I fucked it up. <laughs> Trigger, what's your take on the Kendrick Lamar J. Cole Drake situation? Oh my God, I'm so happy you asked. 
I've been taking I've been waiting for someone to ask. Um I mean, where do we even start? Well, okay, so J. Cole. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. J. Cole had had a line where he dissed Kendrick, right? On a because of Drake, right? Wasn't it on a Drake song or was it a J. Cole song? Uh, I don't know. But then Kendrick kind of murdered him without even really, you know, trying. Uh, so that was crazy. What I'm, I, I guess my take is, uh, J. Cole and I just fucked it up. Saved. I'm going to shut up for a second. Bit over. I'm going to shut up for a second. Okay. How do I get this? I think the only way to get it is to go up that the ramp is to hit that ramp and I don't know how to do that properly. So I think we literally just wasted all this time. Let me give this one shot though. Yeah, okay, just wasted all that time. Thanks, I just, chat, I just wasted like half an hour of your life. I just wasted all of your fucking time. I'm the streamer, gotta love me. Okay. Uh, my my point is, uh, I think Kendrick was in the right. I think J Cole and Drake were in the wrong. And I think um, I think what we need to be asking ourselves is, uh, okay, but where who? Okay, but what's going on with um? Uh, 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 young, young, young dribble. What, what's young dribbles take on this? Is he all right? It was, um, is, uh, uh, feed tube. Is he okay? What's his thoughts? Is daddy script. Okay. Can we get a daddy script update? Is he what what's the uh, what's the daddy script situation? Is uh um J dollar sign umper is he what did he What's what is his thoughts? Whatever he says, I agree. Whatever um little peep say, uh isn't little peep dead? Uh oh, hold on. Little peep. Oh, oh, okay. That's why I know that name. Okay. What's Paul McCartney think about this? They, I agree with whatever he says. So let's get Paul on the phone. What does he think about the Kendrick, Lamar, Drake, J. Cole drama? And we'll, um, I'll parrot that. My real take is that Kendrick obviously never had ill will towards J. Cole, but has had is has had problems with Drake for a long time. What's well, because Drake's an asshole, right? I assume Drake started all this shit. By like writing a verse that was like, um, Kendrick, you, you stink, but my girl, she think that I'm better than you and you smell like poo. He wrote a line like that and Kendrick just went, uh, let me obliterate this man real quick. And then, um, and, uh, and then J. Cole involved himself for some reason which is a cool thing to do um, you know what i'm gonna get into this uh, okay you gotta start calling it the kendrick j cole drake mike drama okay 
I'm entering the the ring on this. I'm gonna, dude. I'm gonna drop so many subtle disses. Think about this one. Without naming names. Certified lover boy should have certified. Shut up. Yeah, I just said that. And I'll say even more on tomorrow's stream. Because now I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm cooked, man. I'm fried. Uh, stick a fork in me. I'm done. Uh, last stream of this game ended with me being like, I want to play like 17 more hours of that. This stream of this game made me go, I'm going to play 17 more hours of that. But my eyes and my hands hurt. Please, please, I, I need to stop for now. So we'll play more next week. Tomorrow we'll do Half-Life 2 Episode 1, which I'm going to try and start a little bit early on that and maybe do the whole thing in one stream. And then Friday we'll do Voices of the Void. So, which again, if you have videos, pictures, or music that you want put into my Voices of the Void game, make sure they're DMCA safe. Um... Or, you know, submit them and I'll make sure they're DMCA safe. And if they're not, they'll get rejected. Put them in the suggestion box in the Discord. And I'll vet them for DMCA safety and are they funny. And then... Or, or are they worth having in there? They don't even need to be funny. Um, And I'll put them in. Uh, for videos, you know, stuff that would be on a TV. Commercials. um, You know, stuff like that would work great. Uh, I've got a couple, like full-on programs that i've put in there but it'll be good if you want have things that you want in there as posters songs on the radio or shows on the tv please post them in the suggestion box before friday for now i'm done i'm gonna get out of here thanks for being here guys thanks for hanging out thanks for saying such nice things about my haircut I think you're lying but i appreciate it you're lying but you're sweet. I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Uh, and let's end with... Here it is. The new. Here's a new song. Let's listen to the... I just muted myself accidentally. We're going to listen to the J. Cole lines and, you know, let's see. Are they really that bad? Let's take a listen. What you know, Steph? Birdie is a guy. He hates gay man because I'm so fly. So I walked up to Angelina Jolie and asked her if she wanted to go out with me. She said no way. So I stabbed Brad Pitt and walked away. And then she wanted to be my baby. And I said, oh, yes. Now he deserves all of the heat. He deserves as much damning as Kendrick Lamar can give him that was how how do you say that kind of thing and live with yourself sad good night